Hi, Eric here with Northwest Adventure and Overland. Today we're going to do a off-road trailer walk around of the brand new Pinecone XT off-road teardrop trailer. Here we have it right off over here. My wife and I just picked it up and we're going to go ahead and do some mods and stuff to it and get it all set up so we can go out and uh, do some camping and traveling around up in the hills. We did a lot of different research on a lot of different trailers. Uh, some of you might have seen our uh, trailer re uh, uh, video from the uh, Northwest um, Overland Rally over in Plain, Washington earlier this year. But uh, we uh, looked at tons of different trailers trying to figure out what we wanted to uh, get, what different types of styles there were out there and everything. And this is what we found that uh, fit in our budget and we we're really happy with. Okay, so let's go over some of the features of the Pinecone XT. Uh, so what we really wanted is we didn't want one of the uh, off-road trailers that came with all the bells and whistles and everything already set and, and ready to go. Uh, we wanted something that uh, uh, we can go ahead and modify and do all the different things to it that we wanted to to make it our own. Uh, so some of the stuff that this thing does come with this is perfect. This is completely stock of how it is other than the mattress that we put in the back um, So we added a spare tire mount We just want the basic tire just to get us up back out of the hills if we wind up getting in trouble It does come with the toolbox up front comes with the battery box up front for the uh, backup power it comes with uh, what is it the standard three inch mattress inside uh, but a cool feature that we found that uh, some of the other people that might be looking for a trailer is uh, check out the measurements of the trailer uh, because we found that uh, we have an old futon mattress that we've had for a few years uh, that fit perfectly inside here and it's way more comfortable than the old little uh, three inch pimp padded mattress and uh, we just threw it on top to give a little bit more cushion but our mattress is like six six and a half inches thick um, but either way so we've got uh, dual doors on each side uh, the doors have uh, the little um, screen doors with the movable slots they have windows that will open up and a neat feature that this thing has on the 2017 model is it has a rooftop fan and if you open up the top and turn it on the fan will actually crank up to three uh, 920 uh, cubic feet per minute so when you have your uh, your screen doors and everything open it'll really whip the wind through here at night to help keep you cool which is really nice it has a uh, power station over there and I'll go around the other side here in a minute and I'll show you that uh, comes with a cabinetry inside so you can store a few things has a little fire detector or uh, not a fire detector but what, what do you call that uh, uh, carbon dioxide detector has a couple of light sconces on the sides now this thing has quite a bit of clearance on the back uh, so if you are doing some off-roading and stuff uh, you're not going to be hitting the back end when you're coming down and around some stuff nice big old 15 in, uh, 15 inch uh, wheels and tires uh, these tires here are 235 75 15s um, has uh, LED lighting there's a table that will actually mount here on this side has lighting around the outside as well it has the um, three by two box steel framing up and around so it's nice and strong I'm going around here to the back and this is probably one of the coolest features of this trailer here um, is the trailer has a nice heavy-duty lip that goes all the way around the whole latch and the latch in the back is fiberglass and uh, when we're looking at a lot of the other trailers uh, they kind of come down and the uh, has the on the was it the plywood siding the 
latch and everything slides to, or the rear hatch slides down off the side so you always have like a seam and while we were out looking at uh, used trailers when we were thinking about buying a used one we found that a lot of the trailers get leaks in the back and some of them are rotten out in the back uh, so when we found this and we saw that it had this lip which will allow all the water to run off and nothing to go inside uh, that was almost an instant sale for us right there uh, this thing has a nice little sink in the back. You just put your uh, the hose in the water and then you just pump it and it has a pump style sink uh, so you can wash your dishes, uh, wash your hands, what have you, and it just drains out and then comes out the side of the back of the trailer. Um, it does come with two uh, charge uh, charging centers for USB. It has USB here and USB in the inside and then it also has like a cigarette lighter style plug so you can plug something else in. And it also has uh, two uh, power outlets, uh, one in the back and then one inside as well. And you also have a drawer here. Uh, this right here is the table that will go and mount here on the side. So you can go ahead and put your stove outside while you're, uh, so you can do your cooking. Let's see, going on around the side, uh, you have a power hookup plug for RV camping or if you're at home uh, I'll actually come over here and show you the plug setup that they have so it comes with a 15 foot hose or cable and but you do have to pick up the adapter piece uh, for at home so you can plug it into the standard plug because the plug that it comes with is strictly for RV use for uh, out at uh, RV sites uh, it is a, uh, I believe it's a 2,000 pound rated uh, axle on the back. And then up here is the uh, power panel. It's got a 20, uh, actually I'm sorry, it's got uh, a 30 and a 15 amp breaker. A bunch of different fuses. And then once again you have uh, your USB plugs. And then uh, another uh, cigarette lighter style. And then your regular plug outlet there. But nice little heavy duty little trailer. Handles nice. Can't hardly even tell it's actually back, back behind you when you're driving down the freeway. Um, easy to drive, uh, easy to park. One thing though for some of you guys is um, tracking for off road. It does have a pretty wide wheel stance if you look here at the back. Um, so it stands out just a little bit. Let me go back here a little bit. So you can see the back end of my Forerunner there. So I'm running stock wheels and tires. I have not modified those yet. So, but a lot of you uh, four off-roaders like to go ahead and modify your wheels and tires. So they, uh, if you're running a Forerunner, a lot of people will put the um, spacers and then different tires, everything will move out. Uh, if you're running uh, a different vehicle, like a full-size truck, or um, Jeeps or what have you, um, the tracking might be better than what I currently have. Once I change out my wheels and tires, everything will go slightly wider. My tracking will be a little bit, little bit better. So I'm probably about, uh, I'd say probably about six inches off overall, four to six inches off on each side for the tracking. It's not too bad, but uh, I might feel it if I get into some rough stuff, but uh, I'm not too worried about it right now at this time. Uh, another thing I forgot to mention is it does have a, another hitch on the back of the trailer so you can put a bike rack back here. Uh, if you like to take mountain bikes or something uh, up in the hills, or if you just want to take your standard uh, regular bicycles or something out into the uh, hills or uh, off to the beach or wherever you might be ha happen to go. But uh, this is it. This is the 2017 Pinecone XT uh, off-road trailer. And uh, these guys are based out of the Grand Oregon by Three Feathers Manufacturing Company uh, out here in Washington State. Uh, trailer Boss in Marysville, Washington sells these. The guys out there are great, very friendly, very helpful. And, uh, and they do a great job, helped us hook this thing up and uh, we we're in and out and nothing flat. Okay, so I want to really touch base on the importance of this lip that they've got here on the back of this trailer. So this lip is uh, approximately an inch high and it really allows the water and everything to run off 
and not prevent anything from getting inside the back of your trailer. Even if you have the, uh, the door open and it's sprinkling or rain a little bit, uh, water's going to come up and go around uh, and not run down into the back of your trailer. Uh, your standard teardrop trailers are not going to have any kind of a lip or seam up and around it. It's just going to be flat flush. Uh, your rear uh, hatch is going to be uh, basically a big three-quarter inch piece of plywood with another piece uh, about an inch or two in uh, mounted inside with a gasket material that goes around it. And that will come down and seal up over that flat, flat surface. And out here in the Pacific Northwest, we got a lot of pine needles and stuff that will get down inside here and create little leak paths. And when you get those little leak paths, it allows the water to get inside and start to rot out the inside of your trailer. And we found that to be true when we were out looking at used trailers. Uh, we looked at a few of them, and almost every single one we looked at was uh, uh, rotten out in the inside or had some form of a water leak inside where... Um, you can see where the water had gotten in at one point in time and either started rotting out or uh, had this, the water runs inside and something that we didn't want to have to deal with. And when we came across uh, the Three Feathers uh, uh, teardrops, uh, we thought uh, we hit pay dirt with the slip and everything. It's just an awesome feature. Um, I did call the uh, manufacturer uh, of the uh, XT and uh, they said that uh, if you happen to uh, be looking at one of their trailers and you see some tra uh, uh, some features that may not be on one of their trailers but you would like to uh, add something to them, uh, they'd be more than willing to work with you about adding uh, any additional features, any kind of little custom work or something. But they said, yeah, just give them a call, tell them what you're looking for, and they be uh, are looking at wanting to do to your trailer, and they'd be willing to work with you. But uh, first, give them a call, see what they'll do for you. Very nice uh, uh, group of people, uh, very willing to work with people. Um, so let's see here. And I got another thing, a couple things I want to talk about is I went and I did some measurements on the width of the rear end of this thing. Uh, just how wide it is because I was talking about tracking uh, a minute ago and the width of the back of this thing from the outer edge of the tires is 80 inches and I took a measurement of my uh, forerunner and I'm still running all stock uh, wheels and tires and uh, from outside edges of the tires I'm running 73 inches so I've got an 8 inch difference uh, and majority of people out there that are uh, running overland rigs or off-roading will go out and change out their wheels and tires so if you went and changed your offset on your wheels and uh, one with slightly wider stance you'll most likely make up that four inch per side difference or reduce it drastically so your tracking isn't going to be off much overall four inch difference uh, if you're getting in some rutting and stuff uh, that could be a big deal but uh, like I said, if you're one of those guys that want to go out and, and uh, swap out your wheels and tires, uh, you're going to make up that. And if you're only off an inch, that's really not going to be that big of a deal. After I get all my stuff done with mine, I'm going to be pretty dang close to spot on. Um, so I doubt I'll ever really find, uh, see a big difference with it. Another neat thing is the back side of this thing is uh, approximately 21 inches off the ground. The rear clearance off the rear corners. I got this thing sitting level right now, so you got 21 inches of clearance off the corners. And off that bike rack or rear hitch on the back, you're sitting at about 18 inches. Uh, and that's quite a bit of clearance off the back side when you're going through uh, some ruts, you're going over a few rocks and stuff. You're not going to have to really worry too much about hitting and damaging the back of your trailer because you know you're going to have the clearance that you're going to need to get pretty much anywhere you want to go. So that's about uh, most of everything there is about this trailer. Uh, please add some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm going to uh, let the manufacturer know that, hey, uh, we put this uh, video up on YouTube so that uh, maybe they might be able to make some comments back to you if you want to throw something down there. And maybe they'll be able to answer some of your questions. Uh, thanks for watching. My name is Eric, and this is Northwest Adventure and Overland. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe.